Hello, Cloud9 Blessings family, and welcome back. I truly hope that you are all having a very blessed day in the Lord. What a blessing it is to be alive and to be that blessed generation that will see the Lord soon return, and we will get to be with him for an eternity. You don't know how much I truly enjoy experiencing the many submissions that are being sent into the channel with you, seeing them together. And it is so encouraging and we need it so much in these end times. In this video today, we're going to be looking at an end time dream that was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Rachel. So let's now take a look and see what our sister in Christ saw in her end time experience. Hey everyone. Um, I've had a hard time starting this video and I've been thinking about doing it for probably a week now. Um, I've been watching your rapture videos and so many videos about the Lord's return about everyone's dreams that they've had. I've been asking the Lord for a dream. Um, he's never really given me one, uh, but I he's brought to mind dreams I've had in my past. Um, there was one when I was six, probably five, five, six, seven years old. I don't remember my age, but I do remember I was very young and I was living at my grandma's house because when I was I had a rough childhood, so my grandparents took me and my sister in all, many times growing up. Um, so this dream that I had when I was a child, I remember I could physically feel like it was one of the worst pains I've ever had in my life. Like remembering I've never had a pain like that before. Um, so in this dream, there were these giant creatures, these giant bugs that were larger than me and they were inside my grandma's house. I was in my grandma's house on the top floor. Yeah, that's my cat. <laughs> I was inside my house, my grandma's house on the top floor and they were swarming the entire building. And I ran up to the staircase because my grandma's had like, it was a weird, like, it wasn't one of those, like, staircases that went straight up or, like, it was a very, like, wide and slow incline, if that makes any sense. And I was running away from these giant, what I'm thinking about, like, locusts, but they had scorpion tails on them. And I jumped down to the first floor. Like I went from the top and jumped down like 15 steps and landed on the very bottom. And then I ran out the door as those things were stinging me. And then I woke up and I can still remember that pain. And I don't, and I know this would happen to people who don't follow Christ, who take the mark of the beast. And as a warning, I don't want anyone, anyone to experience that pain. Because Christ died for us so we don't have to experience that pain. And that's what I remember from that dream. Oh, here, here's my cat. <laughs> what I remember from that dream And a, the, another dream I had that was years ago, probably when I was a teenager, because it had my best friend, my best friend from high school, who I guess we drifted apart. Um, but it was just, it was a short dream. It was just me with her in my car and we were driving north to escape nuclear bombs. And that's basically the second dream I had. Anyway, I just wanted to say that, and I know I've had, I've had a hard time making this video because I hate my voice. I hate my voice. I'm always terrified to speak. 
But the Lord doesn't want us to be terrified. He doesn't want us to be afraid because he's with us always. He loves us so much that he sent his son to die on that cross for us. And Jesus was risen again three days later because he was sufficient. He was worthy. He was the final sacrifice for our sins. If only we turn on him, turn to him, <laughs> turn to him and follow him, he will save us and we won't have to feel this pain. Oh, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, Sister Rachel. You did an amazing job sharing this. I love your voice. So never be afraid to share. And it is truly a blessing when the Lord is with us all because he gives us the strength, the encouragement and the motivation to keep on sharing our dreams, experiences, as well as scripture, and most importantly, the gospel. Wow. These two experiences are definitely unique. And the first one, I have never heard anyone share about something quite like this with the scorpions, because it definitely reminds me of what the Bible says about uh, the locusts that will be released from the bottom of the earth to the top. And that we know that they will have hair like women, a breastplate, that they will uh, torment people for months at a time. It is going to be a really horrific time. And as you said, for those who had taken the mark of the beast and those who had just downright rejected God's word and were left behind at that time. So I want to go ahead now and read that scripture to you so that you know where you can find this. If you want to look at the scripture that talks about these uh, creatures that will be coming. The scripture is in Revelation chapter nine, verse one through 11. And it says, and the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as a smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts, upon the earth and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which had not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but they should be tormented five months. And their torment was the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings were as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and their stings in their tails and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. So you see right there, brothers and sisters, what she mentioned is definitely something that will come to take place during the tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble. And it is going to be for those who had taken the mark and who had rejected the Lord and were left behind. And on top of that, we know that they will have blisters. They're just going to be in so much pain and torment because of the decision that they had made. That's why it is so important that people come to Christ right now so they are not subjected to that time, which is going to be unlike a time people have never seen is going to be absolutely horrific. And how you can get saved is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, how that Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, 
would have everlasting life. It is about believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. It is a free gift, something that cannot be taken and given and taken and given back to you. It is just completely a gift for you to receive because when you come to Christ, you have repented. It is a change of mind metanoia. You have decided that you want to walk the pathway to the Lord and that you want to be with him for an eternity. So please accept that free gift right now, brothers and sisters, if you have not done so, because the Lord loves you and wants to be with you forever. Also, when you do come to Christ, you are baptized with the Holy Spirit and you receive that as well. So the Holy Spirit resides within you. And it is an amazing gift that you will never, ever have taken away from you. So I want to thank you again, Sister Rachel, for sharing these two experiences with me. They were so intense, but you did a great job at sharing them with brothers and sisters in Christ. I also want to thank you all, brothers and sisters, for taking the time to watch this video today. Please type in the comments box, Jesus saves. Please type Jesus saves because he is the only one that can save us in this wicked world that we currently live in. So until next time, have a very blessed week.